this video, I'm going over how we are actually going to be mixing and testing glazes. Um, we have a couple of base glazes. One is a clear and another is a base uh, matte white that you can actually use um, to choose your own colors and mix your own glazes. Like for example, if I use using our washes. Um, for example, if I mix some of this iron wash with the clear glaze, what I'm going to end up with is this sort of golden yellowish color. If I mix copper, the copper wash in it, I'm actually going to get a turquoise or bluish tone. Um, and as you can see on this, this was just painted on the surface with the wash. However, um, notice that as the wash gets thicker, the more color you get. It's the same thing when you mix glaze. So I want this sort of goldenish tone. So this is gonna be a little on the heavier side in terms of glaze. So for glaze tests, typically what we will do is we will measure out about a quarter cup of our base glaze. And I'm gonna dump this in this container. Set that aside. I'm gonna take my test tile real quick and using this iron wash, I'm going to write clear base and I'm going to write the amount of iron I'm going to add to this. Um, and I might want to write one quarter cup and iron wash. You can also write these details down in a notebook and just label your test tiles like one, two, three, four, five. That's fine. Um, typically, I like to label things in this manner because if I lose my notebook page, I still have this. So this is going to be quite a bit. So what I'm going to mix in is I'm going to go ahead and mix in half of a table or half a teaspoon of my iron wash. So what I'm going to write is one half teaspoon. And you can see where you can start to end up with a lot of information. So writing it down in a notebook uh, might work better. Um, the good thing about using the wash to write this is the wash will not melt during the firing. So it won't actually stick to the shelf. So from here, um, I don't have a half teaspoon at hand, but I do have this quarter teaspoon. I have thinned it down my wash so it's more like a heavy cream consistency. You don't really wanna measure it out when it's really thick, like a really thick pancake batter um, consistency because that's a lot of pigment. Um, um, if it's that consistency, you'll probably need half as much. So I'm gonna measure out one quarter and another quarter and there's my half. And now, I'm going to thoroughly mix that and you can see how that changes the color of the glaze. Yes, it looks brown, but it will turn that sort of yellowish tone in the firing. And you don't want this to be streaked at all. If you do, it will be uneven. So very thoroughly mix this. Um, I'm also going to tell you to write what you have in this container on a piece of tape. So I will have tape around. And then I'm going to start applying this to the test top. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make just a single layer of glaze across the surface. I'm going to let that dry for just a like maybe two, three minutes until it's visibly a lot drier. Um, you will be able to see as it changes color as it dries. 
what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go about two thirds of the way across and I'm going to paint on another layer. I'm going to let that drop. And when that layer is done, I'm actually going to paint on a third layer. With each subsequent layer, you're going to have to let it dry a little longer. So as you can see, some of this is dried, some of this is still drying. Um, you don't want to apply glaze over the top of itself when it's still wet because it doesn't stick as well. So now that should be dry. So I'm going to do one last third layer. As a general rule, you don't need to do more than three coats. Um, but testing one, two, and three coats is important because it will tell you a lot about what the glaze will do when it's thin versus thick. Um, and from here, um, this just gets set aside and it goes in a kiln to be fired. Um, I recommend testing all glazes before you put them on a piece, especially if it's a mixture that has not been tested before.